Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're attempting to install Windows to a partition and it says the Windows cannot be installed to this disk and there should be an error code 0x8004242D and again, fail to format the selected partition. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So the issue lies in our BIOS, so you're going to have to boot to the setup or BIOS configuration. So basically it's going to vary on your computer manufacturer, but as your computer is booting up, you want to tap the F10 key repeatedly. It could also be the escape key as well as the F8 key in my experience. So you can see I'm at my boot menu here. So this is going to look different for everybody, but I'm going to just scroll down using my arrow keys on my keyboard until I can enter setup. So I've already tapped my keyboard. I'm at this step in the tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and enter our BIOS here. So now that we are here, we want to go ahead and locate underneath the BIOS configuration settings. So again, this will look different for everybody but we're going to go use our arrow keys once again to navigate over to the boot tab. So using your right arrow key, we're going to navigate over to the boot tab. So I don't have this for on my system for a variety of reasons, mainly that it's just not supported on this system. But if you did have something that says UEFI boot support, you want to go highlight over it and then toggle it to the disabled position. So if it's currently enabled, you want to disable it. So just for example, I'm going to head over to the advanced tab just to show you guys how you would change something from disabled to enabled or something like that. So you can see just for example, the installed OS says other here. And you can see at the bottom, there's a key that says change values plus or minus. So if you put a little plus sign, it'll let you go back and forth between options. So again, in the boot tab, you want to do that for the UEFI boot support. You want to switch that to disabled. Most people should have the plus or minus key to change the options. And again, just reference your key at the bottom of the BIOS that you can see here on my screen. I'll probably even zoom in on it or highlight it a little bit. You can see it as clear as day what I'm referring to. So again, it would be under the boot tab. Most people seem to have this issue would be right through here, even though I don't have it on my system, but I'm just putting that out there as a hopeful, helpful suggestion here for you. And that's pretty much it, guys. So there's really not anything else to show. Just kind of wanted to get you in the right direction. I mean, I'm pretty much taking you almost all the way there. And now it's up to you just to finish it off on your computer, explain to you where to find it, and how to change something from enabled to disabled. So all you have to do is just do it on your system, and that should be able to resolve the problem. If it doesn't, you can easily just revert it back. You know, just do the exact opposite. So if it's set to enabled, then you disable it. You can try re-enabling it. You know, it's not a big of a deal. So pretty straightforward process. Once you're done, tap the F10 key to save. Again, that set it on the key that F10 is to save changes. You could also revert back to default too if you needed to go back if you made any mistakes, you're welcome to do that. But we just tapped F10 to save it. So save configuration changes and exit now. You'd hit enter at this point, restart your system, and then hopefully once you are able to get back into the setup wizard for the Windows installation, you should be able to continue on with the process. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.